No? We are starting a new year and I wish you all a very happy and prosperous new year. In this wish of mine, I also wish you a very deep growth in self. Now you all are Sir Jogis and you all have to become masters in Sir Yogi. For becoming masters in Sir Yoga, I'm sure you are doing meditation, introspection and all kinds of Sir Yoga rituals, I should say. In this new year, I think there is greater chance for you to do much better because all those years of ordeals are over. We are now entering into the new era. I say now the Satyu is established. In the beginning, you may not feel the atmosphere of Kaliuga being cleared out completely. Of course, gradually you'll find that's all clearing out and all the people who are dangerous for your spiritual life, for your national life, for your family life, will have to take back their way. They cannot be successful. <laughs> now the Sahaja Yogis have to decide how far they will spread Sahaja Yoga all over. How many people will then get into Sahaja? There should be many more waiting for you this year. And maybe this year if you all decide to work it out, I'm sure you can get lots of people who will be saved from the curses of Kali Yuga. This is going to be your vow on the New Year Day that now we are going to start Sahaja Yoga in a new way, in a bigger way, in a more dynamic way. For that first thing is needed is your Sandhusha, that is your collectivity. This collectivity has to be extremely well built, well made, well understood and absolutely lovable. This is not difficult in self because practically all your jealousies, all your baser ideas have been completely washed out by your Kundalini. She has transformed you. You are different people. You are very, very different. Not only that, but you have now understood yourself. You are knowing yourself and all those who know their self cannot fight with each other. Because this self is the reflection of one person 
of one deity, of one God. And so, how can you find when He is within your heart? How can you fight with each other? When he, otherwise you'll be fighting with your son. It would be very, very stupid to do that. So all the fights and all the funny things that you have been thinking about will of course disappear, no doubt. No. But you'll become very dynamic. You'll be amazed at your dynamism. Just you have to rise, just you have to expect yourself to manifest. You can become very, very collective, progressive and you can create many solutions. You have been given realization, you have been given the knowledge of realization, Whatever was possible has been done for your health and prosperity, but now it's your duty to repay to the Divine by your creative methods. You have to be very creative. You'll find so many people in this world are full of lots of problems, which you have got out of it. But you can help them. You don't need any help because you are yourself full of power, power of divinity within you. This divine power should be used. It's not given just to be lusted. This power has to be used. Otherwise, what's the use of becoming powerful? Supposing we have electrical power here and it doesn't give, a, give light, so what's the use of having electrical power? So the power that you have is for the emancipation of human. It is for you to raise the Kundalini of people. You can do it. One person can do it for thousands and I hope now you take up this responsibility upon yourself. This would be the greatest blessing for you, for Sahaja Yoga and for the whole world because in my vision we have to change the whole world. I don't know in my lifetime if I can achieve it or not, but if you people really join hands with me with full effort, it will work out. Firstly, I hear many people don't go to meditation, into collective meditation. They do not join together. It's surprising. After so many years of work I've done, thirty years I've been working, and there are some, some people who take Sahaja Yoga for granted. You don't understand your responsibility. You have to meditate collectively. Wherever there is collective meditation, you must join. You can also start something in your areas, a collective meditation. And it will work out. Many people who are in Sajuna are now meditating, I can make them out. I know who are the ones who are meditating and who are not. It's not difficult to make it out. And then you come out with other problems like my mothers, fathers, uncles, this thing. There's no need to worry about that. Even if you are a realized soul and when you are connected from divine, even your own wish will be fulfilled. But it does not. Why? Because you still do not understand what you have become. You first try giving realizations to others. See what joy, tremendous joy. This joy you cannot get in anything else. Whatever you may buy, 
whatever you may have, you cannot get this joy of giving realization. And you'll be so very happy, not because you expect anything, you want anything, nothing of the kind, but only thing is pure joy, pure joy of creating great sajogis. This is what you are there. This is what the Divine wants you to do. Not just to take advantage of Divine power, cure my father, cure my mother, cure my sister, or else I haven't got properties, then somebody says, I, my husband will treat me, or some wife says that, so the husband says that. Go on and on and on, forget it. You are now above everything, above all these things, and you have become absolutely powerful. Believe me. If you haven't used your power, then how will you know what powers you have got? It's as simple as that. Those who have used it, go on telling me what miracles they had, what things have happened to them, how they were protected, whatever they wanted, how they got it. But since Sahaja Yoga, you cannot be hypocritical. If you have hypocrisy, Sahaja Yoga knows, the Divine knows you are a hypocrite. It is for your good, for your growth, you have to be in Sahaja It's not for somebody else that you are doing it, but for yourself. When people are that powerful, I am amazed. How they easily they can get cured. But they must meditate and they must join collective meditation. Most of the people don't join collective meditation. I'm surprised, I know. Sometimes, say in Delhi, there is no sufficient space. So people have to come twice, either Saturday or Sunday. Some of them have to wait outside, doesn't matter. But going for the collective meditation, you'll be amazed that divinity is flowing there. Vibrations are flowing there. I am there. It's not that you are just going there as a… just as a ritual. The problem is you people don't realize that you have to be responsible for Sahaja Yoga, responsible for giving realizations to others, and attend all the programs you have of meditation. With collective meditation, you get all right. All your problems are solved if you go to the collective meditation regularly, I promise you. But the problem is you won't go, you will write letters to me, you want to meet me, this is not going to help. You may come and trouble me like that or do something like that, but does not help? What helps that you help yourself? Next year is going to be a great year for you. In the West town I was surprised how things are spreading fast. In Russia, the people are so deep, so deep. Once they get realization, they understand the value of realization. They are so humble and so deep, they don't want anything. They have never desired for it. Though they have gone through horrible problems of communism and now, this reaction to that. Despite that, all these five countries, which I call as a real divine countries, because the way they have accepted, they are poor according to the modern standards. But from their heart, they are very, very rich. From their Understanding of Sahaja Yoga, they are very, very rich. And their scientists are so well qualified. In every type of thing now, 
There is one scientist who has come to India and who has discovered a method by which you can see all the chakras and the kundalini and the obstructions and everything, something he can show you. Well, our scientists are busy opposing me. Little knowledge is very dangerous. They don't want to see what I'm doing, how I'm doing. They just want to criticize me, also call intellectuals. Especially in Maharashtra, the intellectuals, I think, are something gone wrong with their heads. They cannot understand certain just beyond them. What has happened to them, I don't know, but they just can't understand sir. And these Maharashtrians are so busy with their rituals. Four o'clock in the morning they'll get up, take their baths, do this, then start doing their pujas, this, that. Now somebody got sick, so his wife writes to me, we didn't go to any temple, we didn't do any rituals, still my husband has got sick, imagine. As if doing by that doing, you are your sarjogi. If you are a real sarjogi, then nothing can happen to you, but you have been just under wrong impression. Whether you go to temple or whether you go to wrong places and do all kinds of rituals, it has never helped you. So first you have to empty yourself. If you have already filled with these ideas, these age-old ideas, and you are still carrying on with them, how can the Divine be filled? If there is a pot already full of water or anything, you cannot fill it. So you have to empty each pot. Empty yourself. Empty your mind. It's possible through Sahaja Yoga if you can take your Kundalini beyond Akaja. Why not reacting? Reaction is the worst thing because reaction comes through your Akaja, as I told you the other day, and it is due to your conditioning or due to your ego. So some people react because of their conditioning and some people react because of their ego. So why should you react to it? Why don't you enjoy by not reacting? Just watch, see how beautifully they are made beautiful flowers. Just enjoy it. What is the need? Some will find some faults. Somebody will say, this should not have been there, how did they manage this, all kinds of nonsensical things. The joy of its creation is there and you should be able to see it, feel it, enjoy it. Then you are a Sadhu. Otherwise you are not. If you are a reacting type, you cannot be a Sadhu. This is a degree, Sahaja Yoga is, I think there are so many various styles of Sahaja Yogis. Somebody is just minor, somebody little polas, somebody is like that. But the depth of the Sahaja Yogi is to be measured by the way he keeps joyous. Go on criticizing others, go on getting angry with others. All these things are going on and he thinks he's a surgeon. In our Divine University, we have no degrees, we don't give you certificates. You are a surgeon if you have got your realization. If the Kundalini has burst open here, we saw that you are a surgeon. But that Sahaja may not be a real Sahaja It only depends when you are joyous and you are anxious to give realizations to others. 
You want to share your realization. You just don't want to keep it to yourself. If that is not your condition, then you are still not a full surgeon. You should find out how many people you have given realization. It's very important because next year, as I said, is a very important, very, very important year. In that year, I would like to see all of you going around and giving realization. While I've seen all these other false gurus who are getting exposed one by one, if you see their attitude, anywhere you meet them. Once I was traveling by plane and there was a lady sitting next to me, she was so hot. So I asked her, what guru will you follow? So she told me the name. She said, we are very good, this, is, this guru is the best, this and that. Such heat coming from her body. I never said anything, but I was amazed how this lady was probably talking about her guru, who is such a bad man, and without knowing me, I was just a stranger to her. But such a is don't talk about it. You should talk to your neighbors, you should talk in your circle. Like, we have in India so many customs where we meet people. Like in India, we do Haldi Kungui Maharaja. They will never talk to those people, women who come for Haldi Kungui about surgery. They won't even have a photograph. If they want, they can do it, but they are… I don't know what are they frightened about. It's a very good chance. You have any dinner, you have any public meeting, anything, they won't talk about Sahaja. It's very surprising. They don't want to talk about Sahaja, that we have got this through Sahaja. So how will Sahaja was spread? One has to understand. You all should find out how much responsible you have been for getting into surgery. Of course, you are all protected, you are all blessed, everyone has got whatever they want, most of them. But how many of them are returning this debt? How many are working to give realization to others. This is a debt on you. But if your attention is haphazard, if your attention is not clear, is not normal, then you are involved into all kinds of things, like the tentacles of an octopus. You become like an octopus. You go on getting attached to this, attached to that, attached to that. You have to be a free bird. All these attachments that you have are going to take you nowhere. You should be only attached to Sahaja Yoga and should be conscious that you have known yourself. If you can just understand your value, your level, I can tell you we can change the whole world. We have such a good heritage in this country, we have such good culture in this country. I have seen the problems of America and other places. We don't have this problem. At least they are not so prevalent. But only the thing that we have to do is to know you are a surgeon being. Like a tree. When it grows, it knows it's a tree. It knows it has to produce fruits. It has not come up like that. 
it has not been brought up just like a stick, no. It has to do something. In this world everything has to do something. But then what about Sahaja Yogis? It's such a rare thing to happen that you have got your realization. So where should we waste our attention? Why should we neglect our meditation? Why? We have to grow, we are different people. We are a different race altogether in this world. We are realized souls. There were hardly any number during the time of Christ, practically in Him. And even before that I was surprised that in China and other places, in one age there used to be one one master. While you are so many masters, but you don't want to use your power as a master. Why not the women use it also? I find women are more lethargic than men are in such a world. They should show, I am a woman myself, single-handed I have done all this work, and why shouldn't you do it? Because it's a tremendous task to transform people all over the world. But it's very easy for you. If I can do it, why can't you do it? But put your complete attention to it that we are going to work out Sahaja Yoga, not for ourselves but for the betterment of humanity. We need it, we need it very well. Your compassion, your love is all being wasted. If you just think about yourself, your family, what's the use? People do that even before realization. So what is the use of completely getting attached to your families, attached to all other things? You should get attached to the whole world. You belong to the whole world now. There are nowhere, no more individualistic. No more. Now, as I said, it's a drop has become the ocean. Identify yourself in the ocean. Ocean is the lowest, if you have seen, lowest so much that the zero point starts from the ocean. Ocean is so humble, it's the lowest point it lives, but all the rivers go it. And the ocean does the work of throwing clouds in the sky. And these then burst and become rain, fall into the same ocean. They come back, back to the same ocean. So those who are humble will attract more servants. Those who are kind will attract much more servants. So it is important to see that you change your temperament. If you try to show off, nobody is going to be impressed by it. If you think you are something very great, nobody is going to look at you. Be very humble, kind, generous, also very joyous person. Now imagine a Sahaja Yogi going in a group and telling them, See, my mother is sick, my father is dying, and this thing is happening, but I am doing Sahaja So people will say, why do you do Sahaja You go and cry and weep and sit down there. If he is really doing the Sahaja no sickness can come, no trouble can come. It is a fact. Try to understand. It's you only, these people who are supposed to be there, they will rise. But no use having identification with people who are not servants. They may be your relations, they may be anything. No use. Because you are at a different level, they are at a different level. Either try to raise their level or have nothing to do with them. 
because they will pull you down. They will not see your light. They have no eyes to see. They have no ear to hear and they have no feelings of it. If they had seen how you are changed, how your life is changed, they would have gone absolutely headlong into such. But if they are not, that's not your job. You shouldn't bother about them. If they come to Sahaja Yoga, very good, otherwise they know your relations. In no way they are related to you. How will you relate Sahaja Yoga to them? How will you explain anything to them? It's going to be impossible to talk to these people. So what I have to tell you today is that our family, which is Sahaja Yoga, is large, is spread in 86 countries, and is doing very well. But what we have to say that you do belong to that ocean, to the great families of Sajo. But it is for you to increase the size of this. You have to you have to talk about it and you have to change people. This is your responsibility. You are not given Sahaja Yoga just for nothing. You have to produce greater Sahaja Yogis, better Sahaja Yogis, and you yourself meditate. Not only meditate, but also attend all the collective programs as far as possible. I am happy the way you have stayed on and have come here. It has rained, still you are here and you still are enjoying the divine peace. I again and again bless you from my heart and I want you to have that Shuddha Yucha, which is the Kundalini. I want you to have that Shuddha Yucha, that is the pure desire not only to become surgeries, but to create more surgeries. That is actually your pure desire. You may not have recognized it, but unless and until fulfill, you fulfill, fulfill that desire, you can never be a good surgeon. It's to spread the yoga in every venue, everywhere, with everyone that you can do. And it will spread very well, and so many people can be saved. So many people who are just lost in the Maya of stupidity will be back on the right path. How much good you can go to do for them, you just think. If me alone has brought so many surgeries, why can't you also try and get more surgeries? This world needs Sahaja Yoga. The whole problem, whenever I see newspaper, I think, oh God, if these people were Sahaja Yogi, there would have been no problem. But I find that still people are roaming about, going round and round, kind of as if they have no brains or I have no understanding that where is this world going and who is going to save this world. I am not here to tell you what you should do in your private life. But you yourself should know to keep yourself cleansed and beautiful, what you have to do to yourself. Some people are so superficial that it doesn't go into their heads. Sahaja just doesn't go into their heads. Very, very superficial. So forget them. I don't think they can be saved. So forget them. They cannot enjoy. They are worried about some nonsensical things always. So with such people you need not, but there are still so many people, at least I feel eighty percent people who are sick and you should give them help. This is one thing, is the desire of your mother that you should now take up Sahaja Yoga upon yourself and go on telling about this to everyone who comes. I mean, I don't want cheap popularity. But I do want Sahaja Yogis to be made everywhere. 